Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'm bringing you a Blu-ray and DVD shopping guide and reviews for March 10th, 2020. Now there's a lot of stuff to review for you guys this week. Uh, before I get into that, I don't know how your guys' luck has been this year. And I don't know if it's just kind of all around or just I'm getting older or what, but it is, I am not feeling too good. I, I got a really bad cough. This is like the fourth time this winter I've been sick. Um, I do work in a very public retail location and I do have a young child who, you know, goes to school and whatnot and brings home a lot of germs because she usually ends up getting sick first and then I get sick. And, you know, but I mean, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it through this video. I'm probably sounding a little different. Uh, just kind of congested and coughing a lot. Uh, <laughs> got that out of the way. Uh, remember, you guys can find affiliate links to purchase all these movies down in the description below. I believe I already said this, but there's a lot of good titles this week, guys. Uh, you definitely need to break out your wallets for these ones. Uh, so first up, we have Uncut Gems. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, and Target, $19.99. For some reason, and I've said this before, I just get so tired of the Walmart website. Uh, it's just really hard to navigate and the prices are always kind of crazy, but it's the only source I have for what they're gonna charge. Uh, they had it listed as $30.40. I'm sure it's gonna be much cheaper, but that's what they listed. Uh, it's also releasing on a DVD, Walmart $14.96, Amazon Target $14.99, Best Buy $22.99. Now I was very excited, Lionsgate did send me over a copy of Uncut Gems for review, and I did post an unboxing of this if you guys wanna check that out. This one stars Adam Sandler, and he's this really kind of manipulative, scheming, kind of guy and he, he runs this jewelry store um was it in philadelphia i believe and um he's he's kind of just always coming up with all these schemes like he'll get something from somebody and then he's supposed to like hold their jewelry and then he pawns it and then he uses that money to gamble but he owes these like uh mobsters or gangsters or they don't really get into too much but you know there's some sort of gang he owes them money and he's like just trying to move all these parts around and he just kind of keeps failing and owing more and more money and the whole time uh these guys are putting more and more pressure and becoming more and more physical with him uh trying to get the money back this is definitely uh, one of Adam Sandler's best performances. One of his best movies. I mean, it's not a comedy, and he's well-known for comedies, but uh, a great movie, guys. It, it has a lot of really just really unexpected, you know, WTF kind of moments. Um, the, the guy he's playing is, is just really out there and uh, has Kevin Garnett in it. Uh, that was kind of cool. Um, but I really enjoyed this one, guys. I know everybody uh, was really excited for this one. Uh, I gave it a four out of five. Definitely, definitely check this one out. Next up is Bombshell, releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, and Target, $19.99. And again, Walmart with the crazy $31.39 price. Uh, it's also releasing on a DVD, Walmart, $14.96. Amazon and Target, $14.99. Best Buy, $22.99. And Lionsgate sent me over a copy of Bombshell, for review, uh, this one has Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman, and Margot Robbie, and it's about um, these three, well, two, I guess two news anchors and one kind of up and coming or aspiring uh, news anchor uh, at Fox News, and I don't remember exactly the year when this took place, but this is based on a true story of these women, as I said, that worked at Fox News and their kind of relationship and um, dealings with their boss and how he was abusive and um, harassing and um, kind of like um, wanting sexual things in return for work and how there was this just kind of whole history of him um, just really harassing women. And it kind of, I don't remember this specifically, like when it happened, but I guess um, this kind of kicked off the whole... Um, women coming forward about harassment in the entertainment industry, which I believe, you know, is, is a really good thing. Um, I mean, obviously not that it happened, but that uh, people have come forward to try to correct these situations. And I've commented on it before, you know, that somebody who loves movies, loves TV shows, you know, I just, I just find it ridiculous um, that people would have to deal with this kind of thing. And um, I, I hope, you know, that it's, it's mostly been put to rest. Um, I thought it was a great story. I love the performances. 
it was a little political, you know, and I get annoyed with all that political talk and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But overall, guys, I thought it was a really good story, um, one that I'm glad they put out. And uh, I really enjoyed this movie, guys. I thought it was uh, a really just very interesting movie. I gave it a four out of five. Uh, next up, The Ten Commandments, both 1923 and 1956 versions are coming to a digibook, which will include Blu-ray. Amazon and Best Buy, $12.99, Walmart, $15.41, and Target, $16.59. Now, Paramount Pictures did send me over a copy of the Ten Commandments for review. I did post unboxing this if you guys want to check that out. Just search for the Ten Commandments on my channel. And um, I'll just give you guys a quick look, uh, not too, too uh, detailed here. You know, check the unboxing for that. But uh, I had never seen either of these movies, and so this was a first-time watch for me on both of them. Uh, between the two of them, you're looking at nearly six hours uh, because the 1923 version, I believe, was 2 hours and 15 minutes or so. Um, let's see, 136 minutes, so 2 hours and 16 minutes, and 231 minutes. Uh, so it was like three, three and a half hours or something like that uh, in, in, the sec in the 56 version. So I'm going to talk about each one individually, obviously. Uh, the 1923 version is black and white, and it is a silent movie. So this was my first silent movie, I believe. And what happens is they show a little bit of a scene and then it stops and dialogue comes up on the screen. You have to read it. And I really kind of feel like this really extends the time of the movie. I mean, obviously it's because of the technology they had. This is the only way they could think to do it. But if you if you imagine like every, every minute or so they stop and put the dialogue on the screen and then give you time to read it, uh, it's going to make the movie quite a bit longer. Now also this 1923 version is basically like two movies, which I found really strange because of the runtime. Uh, I almost feel like, why didn't they just make it two movies? So for the first hour or a little bit over an hour or so, um, it's the story of Moses. He goes to free the people of Israel from the Egyptians. They were slaves building, uh, I don't know, their, their buildings and whatever for them. And they, they were, I mean, they were slaves. But they were really poorly treated and uh, the Egyptians didn't think much of them. And so Moses, um, with the power of God or whatever comes, and he, he basically gets them their freedom, and then they escape, and, um, you know, the parting of the sea, they get through, they escape, and then um, he goes up on this mountain, and basically uh, God gives him the Ten Commandments, and, you know, people have gone kind of crazy while he was gone, and he comes back with the Ten Commandments. The second half of the movie is, a, a, like, after, after like an hour and 15 minutes, they reveal that this is just a woman telling her grown children um, a story from the Bible about Moses. And then um, the, the two brothers, one of them, he, he's like, oh, I don't believe in God. You know, I'm going to break the Ten Commandments and I'm going to become rich. And he does, but his life kind of falls apart. The other brother, you know, he follows the Bible and the Ten Commandments, and but he's less successful. <laughs> they each get their own in the end, but um, I did enjoy it. I gave it a three and a half out of five. Um, to me, they didn't really go enough detail into the story. There's a lot of things that I really had to question. Um, and, and, you know, if you're familiar with the Bible story better than me, uh, you'd probably know. But um, just from the movie perspective, it, it didn't really, uh, I feel like, have quite enough details in there. Um, and it really started, like, when Moses is an older man. And um, so, yeah, I liked it. But um, the uh, 1956 version, to me, is far superior color, sound, uh, it's much longer. And instead of having two stories, it's only just the story of Moses. Um, now I think the guy at the beginning comes out and he said something about, you know, there it's, it's not known about his life for the first 30 years or something, but, um, I, I feel like they added a lot more in there. Um, like instead of just starting with Moses freeing the people of Israel, like they, they explained like how he was able to be among the Egyptians where they really didn't explain that in the first one. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's, it's a similar story to, um, of Moses getting freedom from the people for the people of Israel and, um, you know, getting the 10 commandments and uh it's very interesting definitely some great performances uh, it's actually a really good movie it's it's a little long but uh, a great story and great acting um and you know i forgot to mention both of these movies look really good like the the 1923 version uh, you could tell there was some damage to the film or whatever but i mean it was a really clear picture um and the second one you know 
I, it, was, it was it looked really good. Now I, I don't have the DVDs. I've never seen any of the versions, so I can't compare them. But to me, I thought this looked really good. Um, at the end, it did say the uh, 1956 version was like the 2010 restoration or something. So it's been available before, but um, I don't know. I thought they looked really good. Uh, next up, A Quiet Place is releasing on a new Mondo 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon Best Buy $24.99, Target and Walmart, no listing. Now Paramount did send me over a copy of A Quiet Place for review. Sorry, I can't really get it in a good position where you guys aren't seeing, like, all the reflection. But, um, you know, A Quiet Place, I don't know when this come out, like, two years ago. Um, they do have the new Quiet Place coming out. Definitely looking forward to that. So in this one, it's about um, these creatures who hunt through sound. And they've, they've basically taken out, like, a large portion of the population. And people are kind of living uh, in these little kind of, like, camps almost. And, and they've kind of developed ways to make little to no noise because... Um, these creatures can't see they hunt through sound although watching it a second time i really had to question a few things like they seemed to even though they were hunting through sound like they would like they would hear a sound and then they would get there and like kill the person instantly like you would think it would it wouldn't know exactly where it was going and then like it could avoid anything along the way and there's just a couple issues but uh, it's primarily about this man, this woman, and their children, and the woman's pregnant, and they're just kind of getting ready for the baby to come. And I love this movie, guys. It's so good. I loved it when I saw it in theaters. I loved it watching it again. John Krasinski is great. I mean, he definitely steals the show in this one. And guys, I love this movie. I give it four and a half out of five. Next up, The Witch Subversion is releasing on a Blu-ray. Best Buy $14.99, Amazon and Walmart $19.11, Target $19.89, also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Best Buy $14.99, Target $16.59, and Walmart $16.86. Now, Wellgo USA did send me over a copy of The Witch Subversion for review, and this movie is about this young girl who they're doing some kind of experimenting on, her and some other kids, and she escapes. And she kind of goes to live with this family, but she has amnesia. Like, she escapes, and these people find her, like, laying in their yard. And to me, I'm like, okay, don't they turn her over to the authorities? But we'll just we'll just ignore that. And um, so she's living there. And then um, now she's, I don't know, 10 years later or something, 8 years later, uh, she's entered this singing competition, like, think of American Idol, uh, but in Korea. And these people who are doing the experiments find her, and they're trying to bring her in. And we find out that she kind of has these abilities and these powers. And it's one of those movies where they just kind of uh, leave you trying to figure out what the heck's going on for a really long time. Eventually, uh, they do reveal everything, uh, which I definitely appreciate. Uh, this movie was in Korean with English subtitles. This is a really awesome movie, guys. Yeah, I mean, it was well produced, well acted, um, very good uh, effects on this one. Um, just all around, just really well-made movie. Now, the story, I really liked it. I thought it was a really cool story uh, about this girl who uh, seemed really ordinary, but she had a lot more going on, and there's these people trying to track her down, and there's, like, some twists and lots of action towards the end. Um, not so much, like, in the, in the first half or so, but towards the end, there's a lot of action, and it kind of reminded me of, like, action from The Matrix, and there's just, like, all this really crazy fighting and, and really cool stuff going on, guys. Uh, I really enjoyed this one as well. I gave it a 4 out of 5. Next up is Little Joe. This one is releasing on a DVD. Amazon and Target, $17.29. Walmart, $17.38. And Best Buy, $17.99. Now, Magnolia Pictures did send me over a copy of Little Joe for review. I'm not sure where they were in this movie. Um, uh, it definitely wasn't an American movie, but I'm not sure uh, where it was. It was in English, but it's about um, this company and primarily this woman who worked for some sort of like plant making place. I don't, I can't remember what they called it, but uh, they're, they're kind of like doing uh, DNA manipulation. They're trying to come up with this plant and basically this flower will almost feed off your emotions and make you happier. So they're like, you have to water it and keep it warm and you have to talk to it and it'll grow and it'll make you happier. And um, the, it's called Little Joe. And basically um, they start feeling like maybe there's something with this plant, um, the way the lady made it that hasn't been tested or approved. And they start like kind of getting worried that maybe there's some sort of allergy this thing's gonna cause. 
and they haven't really done their research and they but there's like this event coming up and they want it ready and so they're kind of conflicted on you know we need to test it but we need it done um, somebody else is going to make it if we don't and so they kind of keep pushing it forward and uh, the people kind of start changing a little bit and some people you know they start kind of coming around and you, it's kind of like well do they change their mind or is the plant having some sort of effect on them and there's a couple scenes where they really try to like make you feel like one thing's happening but uh, it's not really happening you know you guys know what i mean but i, I enjoyed this one it was kind of slow um but it was an interesting story uh, i gave it a three out of five as my voice gets worse and worse through this video next up we have ghost killers versus bloody mary uh, this one is releasing on a dvd amazon and target 1989 best buy 1999 and Walmart 2024. Now Dark Sky Films did send me over a copy for review and this was a Portuguese movie so it's in Portuguese uh, with English subtitles and is a horror comedy about these guys who are the ghoul busters and um, basically this kid conjures up uh, Catarina or, or Bloody Mary in the school. He does the ritual in the bathroom and she shows up in the window and um, Nobody, like the principal doesn't believe it, but he wants people there at ease. So he calls these guys who have this YouTube show and they're the, the ghost killers or whatever. And so they come and, you know, they're like, oh, we want more money. And he's like, no. And they end up doing it and kind of like everything goes crazy. D to me, I thought this movie worked a lot better as a horror than a comedy. I wish they would have kind of left out the comedy and just made this a horror movie. Uh, it's pretty good as a horror movie. The comedy to me wasn't that funny. Like it just it just fell flat a lot to me on the comedy. There's a lot of like real gross out stuff too. Like I just, like make me a little hard to watch. Um, but like I said, I really liked it as a horror movie, not so much as a comedy. I think they should just ditch the whole comedy effort. But I did like this one, guys. It did have definitely a lot of blood and some good horror moments. Uh, I gave this one a 3 out of 5. Uh, next up, Ancient Alien Season 12 Volume 2 is releasing on a DVD. Walmart 996, Best Buy and Target 999, Amazon no listing. Now Lionsgate did send me over a copy of Ancient Alien Season 12 Volume 2 for review. And this show, guys... For alien believers or people who are interested in aliens really great in-depth show uh, I really enjoy it you know I don't know that I believe in aliens for sure but I definitely find it to be a very interesting subject I've always been very interested in sci-fi and uh, aliens and the possibilities and you know there's lots of unanswered questions about our planet and maybe some of the answers could be uh, aliens. Who knows? But uh, the episodes on this, the Transdimensionals, Islands of Fire, the Constellation Code, the Nuclear Agenda, the Alien Mountain, the Alien Brain, the Secrets of Stonehenge, Food of the Gods, Human Hieroglyphs. I wasn't a huge fan of that one. Um, it was about like just people getting tattoos and doing different things to their body. Uh, the Storming of Area 51, Countdown to the Disclosure, and secrets of the exoplanets uh but definitely a good show guys you know it's bargain price ten dollars if you guys are uh into just possible things that have been caused or done by aliens check that out it's a cool show i gave it a four or five uh next up is inherit the viper this one's releasing on a blu-ray dvd and digital amazon best buy and target 16.99 walmart no listing also releasing on a dvd Amazon and Best Buy $13.99, Target $14.79, and Walmart no listing. And now Lionsgate did send me over a copy of Inherit the Viper for review. Now I had already seen this one before. This is actually my second time viewing it. And it stars Josh Harnett. Everybody loves Josh, Har Josh Harnett. So great to see him in a movie. Um, this one is about this small town and these this family. They, they're like all drug dealers. They sell painkillers. And um, Josh Harnett's character... He's kind of wanting out, like he's got a girl and he wants to move on, but the sister, she's just like down for down for the life and the brother, you know, he's he's younger and he's kind of influenced by them, but he feels like, you know, his only possible uh, outcome in life is to be a drug dealer and kind of, you know, 
it kind of hits the fan and the brother tries to get out and the sister doesn't want to. And there's a lot of twists in this one. Um, you know, the first time I watched this, I thought it was a little slow, especially for only an hour and 24 minute runtime. Uh, it just, it just seemed kind of slow. Second time I watched it, guys, I did definitely like the performances a lot more. I, I knew what to expect and I could look for more stuff and kind of the manipulation of the characters and the things they do. And this is definitely worth checking out. I mean, it is a, a, a little bit cheaper movie. Um, I gave this one a three to five. I definitely enjoyed it. I just feel like it could have had a little more to really just elevate it a little more on that one. Next up, Beauty and the Beast 1991 is releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart 29.96, Best Buy and Target 29.99. It's also releasing on a Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook, which includes 4K Blu-ray and digital for 34.99. And next up is Beauty and the Beast 2017, releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart 29.96, Best Buy and Target 29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which includes 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. Now, I did pre-order both of those ones, so when I can, I will bring you guys an unboxing of those. Next up is Charlie's Angels. This is the 2019 movie. Uh, it's releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $24.95, Best Buy $24.99, and Target $29.99. Also releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital Amazon and Walmart $19.96, Best Buy $19.99, and Target $22.99. Also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart $17.96, Target $19.99, and Best Buy $22.99. Next up is Spies in Disguise. This one's releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Best Buy $24.99, Target $27.99. Walmart $29.96 and Amazon no listing. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. Target will have an exclusive 4K Gallery Book, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $32.99. Uh, now that Disney is running Fox, uh, I wonder if we'll see more of those gallery books from Fox titles. Uh, it's also releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital. Best Buy $19.99, Walmart $22.96, Target $22.99, and Amazon no listing. And then finally, it does appear to be coming out on DVD. Only Walmart has it listed at $19.96. Next up, John Henry will be releasing on a DVD digital copy combo pack. Amazon and Walmart $13.89. Best Buy and Target $13.99. Next up, The Alpha Test will be releasing on a DVD. Amazon and Target $8.69. Best Buy $9.99. And Walmart no listing. Now, I might review this one. I haven't decided yet. Um, looks interesting about um, kind of these people get like an android or a robot or something and they're like some people think it's like a human and some people think it's not I mean it's been done but it definitely looked interesting a lower budget title uh, I believe that's from high octane pictures uh, next up is Jurassic Thunder this one's releasing on a DVD Target 869 Best Buy 999 Amazon 1299 and Walmart no listing. Another one that I'm thinking about checking out, but this is just a super low budget dinosaur thing. Uh, I'm not even sure what it's about, but it's, it's ultra low budget. Uh, also from High Octane Pictures. Last up this week, guys, is Exit Zero releasing on a DVD. Amazon Best Buy $14.99, Target $16.59, and Walmart $19.69. Now that is it for this week, guys. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm supposed to be getting Spies in Disguise for review, but I haven't gotten it yet. So it'll probably be in next week's video. Um, and I'm hopefully going to catch up on some other movies. I had a ton to watch. You guys saw everything I reviewed this week. Uh, Ten Commandments was almost six hours. Plus, I reviewed three more movies that weren't in this video. Um, Run This Town, The Dark Red, and Escape from Pretoria. So a busy week for me, guys. Uh, this next week hopefully is a little slower, but I need to catch up on some stuff. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Love to hear if you guys have seen any of these movies, what you thought of them. If you plan on picking them up, let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check out the suggested videos, and for more movie news, check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.